right, all right, welcome back, guys. So in this video, we're going to talk about the ways people generally learn Grasshopper and what, in my opinion, works best. And I made this video because there is a huge amount of noise in the Grasshopper space. There are so many courses, so many tutorials, and I've seen that it's really hard for newcomers and beginners to get their bearings and work out what the best path to take is. Whether that's taking a course, following some tutorials on YouTube or something like this, um, or getting some one-on-one -on -one coaching. So regardless of the path you actually take, from my experience, all the ways you can learn Grasshopper essentially comes down to three different parameters. The first is how much time do you have? Do you have a day, a week, a month, uh, or is it the rest of your career as you know these are skills that are going to support you moving forward? The second is resources. So what resources do you have available? Uh, and these are, like I said, courses and tutorials. And again, lots of noise in this space. So it's really hard to work out what is the best set of resources that is going to support you moving forward. And the third thing is application. So what is it that you're actually trying to achieve? We're always doing something in Grasshopper, creating a design or a design system. It is a tool. So what is it that you are trying to create? Is it something super specific for one project at work um, and then you're done? Or is it an ongoing project that you're going to be working on for a long time? Is it a passion project because you're sick of that nine to five design week? Are you sick of getting stuck with designers block in Grasshopper? Is it gaining more confidence just with Grasshopper so you can increase your earning potential? Or is it just about taking back control and the freedom to choose what you work on? Or is it all of the above? So these are our parameters, time, resources, and application. And very generally, the usual approach is that people have a very specific project in mind that they need to be able to do quickly for either work or university or a project. So this is the time aspect. They become aware of Grasshopper and they figure it could be a good tool to try to solve that design problem or approach that design problem. They go online and find some resources or a tutorial that is approximately pointing them in the right direction um, and it's an immediate win you can get you know something cool out of grasshopper you know on the path to completing your design but usually this win is short-lived because we are designers we are usually designing something completely unique if there was a perfect tutorial for us every single time then that would be fantastic but that is never usually the case so what we need to be able to do is adapt that tutorial that we just worked through and actually adapt it and apply it to a new design scenario to what we actually want to achieve this is where that first issue comes into because the ability to apply what we're learning in these tutorials requires a lot more foundational knowledge of grasshopper and computational design we simply from one tutorial Tutorial, we simply just do not have enough information and enough knowledge to be able to adapt that to whatever we want. We then start trawling the internet for answers and posting in forums, trying to work out how to achieve what we want using Grasshopper, which can be very frustrating, very time consuming, and it's very difficult to even pose the question in the correct way in order to get a meaningful answer from somebody. If this sounds at all familiar, it's because it is the most common entryway into Grasshopper. Let's take the best case scenario and that we were able to work out how to apply our tutorial that we just worked on to our own specific design scenario. We have a bit of a win, so we're really excited about Grasshopper. We can see that this is these are tools that are going to help us in the future for future pieces of design. So we start doing more and more tutorials. Maybe we take a cheap course, which there are lots available. We try to learn more and more and more components and generating more wins just by following tutorials, following these recipes. And after a while, we've got a whole load of things that we have uh, been able to do. But if you're really, really being honest with yourself, you still don't really know what's going on with Grasshopper, how all of its data structures work and how all of this maps to a coherent Grasshopper script. So if this also sounds familiar, this is because, again, this is a very, very, very common path that people take when learning Grasshopper. And so none of this is new to me because over the years I've done all of this thousand times more unsuccessfully than you will have and I've done it many 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 times more over the years but eventually muddling my way through all of this and I started to figure out what works and what doesn't work for the way I learned but also the people I was teaching my students and clients and I've taught many different ways over the years I've ran master of architecture units so taking students over week-long workshops very intense week-long workshops or taking them over a much much longer period over a whole semester of teaching them grasshopper every single week I've curated studio programs for different offices and engineers 
I've done intense short workshops in a day. I've done one-on-ones in person. I've done groups online, one-on-ones online, you know, you name it. And longer project-based tuitions as well, all with my own content. So coming back to these parameters of time, resources, and application. So what I've worked out over the years is that on the time aspect, for instance, if you go too quickly, you will melt people's minds and they won't be able to retain all of that information and knowledge. But on the flip side, if you go too slow, these concepts don't stick because there's not enough commitment and there's not enough consistency. For resources, uh, my own content is constantly evolving and designed to give my students and clients exactly what they need at the right time. And I focus on principles of computational design rather than focusing on super specific pieces of individual design. And I do this because we can learn to apply these foundations and logics and methodologies to all different types of pieces of design, be it architecture, structural engineering, interior, product design, jewelry, whatever it is that you're interested in designing, because principles can be applied at any scale to any piece of design. So if you're looking to take a course or a quick weekend course in Grasshopper, both tutorials and very intense one day courses are very good for giving you these short term wins. But in reality, they're not giving you everything that you need to develop yourself as a computational designer. Learning Grasshopper is very much like going to the gym. You can't expect to go once and be super fit and super strong. So this is something that you develop with a very consistent, dedicated approach. So to sum up, what works best is learning some foundational concepts of computational thinking and grasshopper over a longer, well-paced period of time and using practical projects and prompts for students to work out how to design and think for themselves using the software. And this is the key part, thinking for yourself, following tutorials and these recipes online, uh, you're going to be just thinking like someone else. We need to flip this so you're developing your own problem solving skills in Grasshopper. And so this is the exact program and process that I've developed with my one-on-one -on -one clients over the past couple of years. And from feedback from the community and the extraordinary demand for this type of learning in Grasshopper, specifically for Grasshopper, we've developed a monthly membership version of my high ticket one-on-one -on -one coaching. So this is my $3,000 plus coaching program distilled and spread over six months with access to an engaged community, monthly bonuses and design competitions, and lots of different ways for you to engage with using Grasshopper and developing your computational mindset and thinking skills. So from working with my one-on-one -on -one clients, six months is a really optimal time to get to grips with all of these concepts and learn how to apply them to your own pieces of design. You'll get access to a new module every single month, and these are all based on some foundational concepts of of Grasshopper and computational thinking. We're gonna have two group calls every single month so you can drop in and ask any questions that you like and connect with other members of the community. You'll have access to our community where you can ask questions, share images, get involved in our design challenges and really have answers to the questions that you need at the right time. Myself and some other admin coaches will be in the community answering all your questions whenever you have them. We're also going to be running design competitions every single month. So you have the opportunity to win some sessions with me or sessions with our other coaches in order to work on whatever specific issues that you're having. You'll be building up a script library over the course of the membership. So in the end, you'll have everything you need to be able to design anything you can imagine using Grasshopper because we're focusing on principles of design rather than very specific pieces. Layer on top of this, the coding of form, which is our intermediate through advanced membership, um, which you could carry on after you've completed the six membership modules. Do another few months of the coding of form projects. You'll layer on a lot of different technique and a lot of different ideas on top of your foundational principles, giving yourself everything you need as a computational designer and Grasshopper user. So rather than spend hours and hours watching tutorials and hours and hours looking for answers and searching for answers, the idea of the membership is that it's a roadmap, giving you everything you need to learn in order, one step at a time, in order for you to become a true computational designer and actually know what you're doing in Grasshopper. And alongside this, having a community of like-minded designers 
So you always have a place to discuss and ask questions and get the support that you need. If this sounds interesting at all to you, all the information for the membership can be found using the links below the video. And if you have any questions at all, please reach out and I can answer any questions that you have. This new membership we're going to be launching in June. And for the next month, we're going to be offering a founders members price in order to kick the community off and get you guys started with our content. So you can be one of the first people into the new membership that we're launching next month. Thanks for listening, guys, and I'll see you on the next session.